Oh, so it's been a hot minute <laughs> since I've talked to the vlog and I figured while I'm getting my makeup on, I will talk to you guys. Update you with how I'm going, with how I'm doing, with what I'm, oh, hang on. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> and just to chat while I get ready. <sighs> Let's talk about some updates, shall we? And maybe if this is interesting enough, it could be the entire video. I've got a lot of footage I have to go through. I was just filming clips and filming clips and then I filmed a sit down video and then like that kind of threw off my entire vlog schedule and come on friend. So I have a lot of footage that I think um, that I might even have to do like a Wednesday video at some point just to use it all. That way I'm not um, carrying December footage into January, do you know what I mean? Um, I think this might be too red. <sighs> Let me play with the settings really quick and we will see. think that is better. Yes. Except my face. <laughs> my face. My face is just always going to be red because I have rosacea, in case you did not know. Um, my day started off where my, I, I was, you know, putting water into my beauty blender. Not this one, unfortunately, because as I took it out of the water and I went to go dry my hand off, this fell out of my grip and landed exactly <laughs> in the toilet. It actually bounced on the rim of the toilet and I'm like, no, and then it fell in. And so there was no salvaging it. That's way too much foundation, shoot. So, Teaching a Teacher's Pet, let's start with that, was nominated for a Swoonie Award. Um, so, my books have never been nominated before, so it's such a cool and huge honor um, to be beside, like, Judy Curry and stuff. I love Judy. is so great. Um, so that's been really exciting. We moved into round two. Um, so if you have not voted for round two yet, I will leave it linked in the description box. Or, actually, I don't know when round two closes. Let's look. Goes into the 21st. Today's the 13th? 14th. This video should be out by then, right? It's a really fun thing. I've never had, like I said, never had a book nominated before. Um, and it's just a huge honor. I have to go get creamer uh, from the store. I literally just bought creamer like a week and a half ago. But since buying my milk frother, I'm using a ton more creamer. And I didn't even realize it. I picked up my creamer yesterday. And I'm like, oh, how was it already almost gone? I just bought creamer. So, that is something I need to be more mindful of. It's hard because I'm pouring my creamer separately, not into my coffee. And since I am pouring it separately, it's hard to know how much I'm using. So, something I need to be more mindful of because I cannot be going through a one bottle of creamer a week. Also, these earrings from Ana Luisa. So cute. I have had them in since I put them in for the video. And they're so comfortable to sleep in. I genuinely do love Ana Luisa's stuff. And they also love those jerseys that I got in the mail. <gasps> Fire. I got a question about why I didn't uh, get Walsh's jersey from... This is still getting redder on the camera. Weird. From Out of My League. And it's because, guys, I went back to Out of My League and I looked. <sighs> so Out of My League's colors for the book are red and white. The team... Uh... Bayview Royals. It's purple and gold. If I got a jersey that was purple and gold with like Walsh Hunter on the back, you'd be like, what? Because everyone associates red and white with out of my league, which makes sense. Why did I choose purple and gold? Who knows? But that's, it's so dumb. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, this is, this is turning into a ramble session. I kind of am living for it, to be honest. Book three, Rebelling with the Bad Boy. We are currently on deadline still. We have, tomorrow is when I wanted to send it to my editor. So I still am gonna try and do that. I'm still gonna try and really, really push myself for this. Um, you know, see if I can do it. I would love to be able to finish it by tomorrow. I have a little bit of the ending left to write. There's a little bit more that I wanna edit in the mid section I think is what it is so so that's my plan is to hopefully have it done by tomorrow we're at 95,000 words so I'm a little alarmed <laughs> uh I've never had a book I mean no that's that's, that's, that's such a lie teaching teachers pet was pretty long I just feel like this is a lot longer than I thought it would be and it's so much longer than what the draft I had been starting from was. Okay, maybe this kind of gave me Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer vibes. 
Usually it looks nicer than this. Let's add a little bit more of the foundation right here to lighten things up. I feel like Rebellion with the Bad Boy, I'm starting to feel more confident in it. Um, for a while I was really stressed. I've been having a lot of like stress in my life <laughs> these past few weeks. Um, so I just think that's kind of carrying over into how I'm feeling about my book. Um, but I think I'm, I'm really loving the kind of direction I took with it. And once I hear back from my editor, um, about the concerns I do still have, I think that will help me like get a better idea of how to fix it, you know, like what I want to do and make it the best book that it can possibly be for you guys. I think y'all will really like it. Um, it's kind of got like Can't Catch My Breath vibes combined with um, Teaching Teach, no, Two Kinds of Us vibes. So it's got those two books kind of like the vibes of those two books. So I think you guys will really like it. I don't know what I'm doing when I do this, but I do it anyway because I see people online do it. So like, why don't I do it? I am trying to film my year-end videos. Actually, I've only filmed one that was reflecting on my 2022 author goals. I want to film my other ones. I'm just gonna hope to film at least one of them today. I want to film today because I'm gonna look nice, but I've kind of been trying to be a little more careful. No, not careful. I want to get book three done first. So that is its own separate kind of stress, and I don't have to worry about editing those videos while I'm trying to um, finish this book. This book is kind of like the only thing that I want to have on my agenda for right now. I do have client work coming up. I have a ton coming up this weekend. So my hope is that I can actually finish this book, Rebellion with the Bad Boy, and get it off to the editor by tomorrow. Like I said, for the bajillionth time. My writing process has definitely been changing because I feel like this book and, oh crap, which color did I use? And Dreaming About the Boy Next Door both kind of gave me more trouble than what I'm usually used to with books. And I don't know if it's because I'm letting it get, like, the stress of everything get to my head or the fact that it's a new series gets to my head. I think it's probably that one. I think that's probably why I am a little, little bit more stressed than I was in the past, you know? I'm doing an eyeshadow unevenly. Tis fine. 2023 is going to be such an interesting year for me. Um, you guys will see why I say that soon. Um, all will be revealed in due time. We have some new adventures waiting us. Um, but it's just going to be an interesting year overall. I'm really nervous for it. And I am still also excited. But whenever you do something new and different, it's going to be kind of nerve-wracking. And that has been a huge, huge, huge source of my stress. Is just planning and preparing and, you know, doing all the things that is going to be involved with what is coming in 2023. And, you know, it's hard. It's really hard. Like, it's hard. It's hard to do scary things, you know? And, I don't know. I am just not sure I'm prepared. To those of you who said that you like the new style of how I'm vlogging, that's really cool. I... I like changing up, trying things, trying new things. I love the idea of putting text on my videos to kind of like draw interest that way too. A lot of people who's like vlogs and lifestyle vlogs and like, you know, vlogs I do watch do that. And it looks so cute and fun. So naturally, I wanted to do it too. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying kind of like finding new ways to, you know, grow my love of, of vlogging. And editing, because editing is a whole entire beast, and it's just a lot. Okay, concentration. Sisters, not twins, right? <laughs> okay, looks kind of cute. I, I don't know if I'm going to be working on book four at all this year, or if it's going to be put on pause until the new year. Um, part of me thinks I should put it on pause after what I've been going through with Rebelling with the Bad Boys edits. I think I do just need to take a little bit of a break. But I know that the beginning of the new year is going to be kind of crazy with something that's going on in personal life. Um, so if I put it on pause, it's probably going to be on pause for a month. Which means I'm not writing for a month. Which means it's going to be put on pause much later because I get... Rebound with the Bad Boys edits back early January. Fudge, I don't know what to do. Oh, I haven't thought about it. 
and I should have been thinking about it, but my all of my thoughts have just been going towards rebelling with the bad boy and getting that finished. The year end is always such a busy, busy time. And I am feeling very stressed. <laughs> Ooh. I do have to get dressed. I'm trying to think of, is there anything else I want to say? Ow. I'll check in with you guys very soon. Love you. Bye. Okay, y'all. It's time. It's, it's 9.03, which means it's time to get writing for the night. This is December 14th, which means my deadline is tomorrow. My editor messaged me, was it today or was it yesterday? Saying they were excited to read a manuscript tomorrow. So I appreciate it because they're holding me accountable. I'm no longer allowed to push the deadline back. I have a lot to do. I have at least two chapters to write. Let's go. Setting up my little shop here because I know I'm gonna get the most done if I'm super duper comfy with my little heating pad on my toes. And if I need to, I'll switch to my desk later on, but I am very comfy. But let's bring you a little closer. Also, yes, I am using my ring light for this because it's just like, the lighting for it is just fantabulous, you know? I feel like I'm in a movie production. <laughs> Open the word doc, let's go. So I would fix the lighting, but my dog hates the sound of me touching the camera screen because it makes like this popping sound every time you touch it. Um, it makes like a loud dinging sound. Giselle hates it and Giselle is laying right here being very cute so I don't want to interrupt her. It's one in the morning. Um, feel pretty good. I still have those two chapters left to write, but I had to go back through and fix some continuity stuff. Um, to make it as clean of a draft as possible for my editor. There's still some things that aren't going to be changed um, that will probably need to be changed in the future, but um, yeah, I, I can't even reach my ring light button, it's fine. Um, that I will have to edit once I get it back, but they're just kind of more minor stuff, more feathering like mom the mom's personality through a little bit more and stuff like that so around page 313 of 326 um i just have to finish editing this chapter and then i will go on to write last probably it's actually probably three chapters because if i have two chapters left to write and then one the epilogue so i'm not tired my eyes are just kind of burning which I need to actually be wearing my contacts. I, I am. I need to actually be wearing my glasses. What the heck? Anyway, it's me. I just want to check in. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness. I am like in so much pain. My back. I feel like an old lady. Ugh. Okay. Wow. Hang on. Oof. Okay. So. I have been sitting in the same spot for the past several hours and I'm very, very stiff. I think I need to talk a little bit quieter because I think my mom might be able to hear me. It's 2.16 in the morning. I'm not done yet. My headphones died, so I have to let them charge. It takes, I don't know, 10 minutes to get a charge. I'm not necessarily tired. I don't think I'd fall asleep even if I laid down. My eyes are just tired. So I think I'm gonna go take my contacts out, put my glasses in. Keep going. I am not done. <laughs> I have two chapters. Three. Three. Three still. I, but I'm thinking it's gonna be four because I think I have this chapter to write, one more chapter to write, and I might have another chapter to write after that depending on the length of the second chapter. So that's three chapters and then the epilogue, which <sighs> I, I, oof. Let me look at this frickin' word count. Oh my gosh, it's 98,000 words. And I still have three, possibly four chapters to write. How is that possible? I, honestly, at this point, I don't even remember what is in this draft. My brain, at this moment in time, my brain is mush. Um, 98th. I have no idea how that's possible. Like, zero. The book doesn't feel that long. It's the weirdest thing. It doesn't feel like it's 100,000 words almost. Like, draft two. Let me look what draft two was. My developmental edits. 
81,000 is what that one ended up being. I thought it was less than that. I thought it was 60 something thousand, but okay, 81,000. So we're adding almost 20,000 words. I don't, I don't know. This doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> like, I feel like it, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I can publish it that long. Um, I've never had a book that long. My camera cut me off. I've never had a book that long. Um, I, I don't know what we're going to do. But that's not the problem. That's not tonight's problem. Tonight's problem is just finishing the dang book. And my battery's flashing. And it's 2.19 in the morning. And I'm getting tired. So we're going to take my contacts out. Stretch. And then come back to it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I look so rough. I'm gonna set you my coffee maker. It's currently four, no, what? 341. This is terrible lighting. I'm just, oh my gosh. I am going to bed. I cannot stay up anymore. I tried so hard. Um, we got to 100,498 words and we are still not done. I have probably half of this chapter left to write. One more chapter, and then the epilogue. So, that feels good. We're very close. I haven't stayed up writing like this for a very long time. This lighting is absolute garbage. I haven't stayed up writing like this, oh my gosh, my hair, in a very long time. Um, I had an energy drink, so that is why we are cowering through so hard. My voice is just so, It's my voice says, I'm tired. Put me to bed. But we're gonna resume the vlog in the morning and finish this book and send it to my editor. So that is what we're doing. I, I made a comment. I don't remember what the comment was about, but I'm like, I think it's like, I, I wanna make this change, but it's 3 a.m. on the 15th and I just can't. Or something, something like that. Like I don't have enough time to and it's too early in the morning. <laughs> but we're not done. We're almost done. We're very, very close. And then, we're sending it to the editor. I also love that for me that I'm sticking to my deadlines and being so dedicated because sometimes, and especially lately, I've been struggling with my dedication and my motivation. So love that for me. Hopefully I, I get a good night's sleep in. <laughs> Hopefully my dogs don't wake me up and stuff. So we will see. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Halfway through drinking. Oh, manual focus is on. There we go. Halfway through drinking my coffee, I don't feel any better. Ugh, it's 10.42. I got up at 10. I still feel like I am dead. We have words to write, even though I can barely see. We'll get them down. Two chapters left. Let's go. After I finish my coffee. We have, we have some left. So good. We did it, we did it, we did it. It's like, what time is it? What time is it, what time is it? Hang on my phone. 9.43 at night. We did it, I didn't take a nap today. I'm running on five and a half hours of sleep. I am struggling for one. <sighs> we did it, we finished. We, it is at, oh crap, I closed out the document. I sent it to my editor already. Um, it is 105,765 words. And there's actually one scene that I did not write. Um, it's short, so I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal, but there's one thing that I did not write, so it is 105,000 words. Teaching the Teacher's Pet was 99,000, so it's beefy. It's big and beefy. I hope uh, my editor can like point out some stuff that we can cut because the longer it is, the more expensive it is to have like print copies and stuff, but if it's gonna be this long, it's gonna be this long. It's the length the story needs to be tabbed to be told, you know? But it's done. It's done. I feel so good about it. I was stressing, but I feel so good about it. I'm so tired. <sighs> yes, parents, it is wine time. Oh, it's so happy for you. It's so happy for me, too. I mean, you got, you got your book done, right? Uh, yeah, that's what we're excited about. We're done. It's so long. It's like 105,000 words. 105. That's a long book. It's a long book. A lot of words. People will love it. I hope so. <laughs> oh, that's a heavy glass of wine. That's like two cups there. 
It's okay. We're celebrating. Yeah.